saw something. I could tell. Did the data explain what Pharaoh used this device for? I think he was undergoing treatments to live longer. A lot longer. Really? Could he still be alive? Don't be foolish. If he were alive, he would have kept his essence. It would not have been passed down to me. Remember, he was the renewer. Of course he would have stopped at nothing to grasp the secrets of life and death. But not for himself. Everything he did was for a new beginning. For us, for the Quen. And for his true heir, me. You know, I'm starting to think you're right. You do have a lot in common with Ted Farrow. I knew you would see, in time. Let us continue. His secrets await. Hmm. Is that a small office? For a minor functionary, perhaps? Geothermal energy plant right on. Look at all this equipment. We are getting closer to the heart of this place. I can feel it. An automated geothermal energy plant right under the city of San Francisco. A marvel. Even I can run it. And let's face it. I was always more of a visionary than an engineer, door down. which is why I had the foresight to... I'm going to look for another way in. Good idea. It's worked before. Very well. Get to it. of some sort. Not a bad idea. He's the one feeling sorry for himself. Less his future. Less his children. Someday they'll come, and I'll be here to greet them. 
Sometimes if my aging has stopped altogether. If anything, my cells are replenishing faster than normal. I just need some time for the mutations to calm down. Time. And energy. Sometimes if the reactor can give me what I need. To grow strong again. To get my shit back together. So I can greet the kids. They're gonna need me. My advice. My guidance. And then I won't be alone anymore. Pharaoh's secrets. Are they here? the ones you're looking for then they must be in there trust me you don't want to go in there are you mad i haven't come all this way to stop now Legacy is mine. Has it rigged to melt down and kill them too? No witnesses. We have to fight. <laughs> Fire it! Keep moving, okay? 
Come on! Out of my way! We found something that will help. Not just your homeland, but everywhere. But where's the CO? Oh, he's... gone. I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes. I see. You must think I'm eminently stupid. What? No. No. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. He brought Thebes down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But we really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it and use it. Now, if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go, and then take credit when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. It seems then that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please, but Alva must join you and report back on your efforts. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva, I expect your reports to be thorough. Oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. 
But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl? I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. Now that I have Omega clearance, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. But before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by Landfall. With the CO gone, maybe more Quen will be willing to talk. And there's still that tall neck nearby. I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe the CO made me play dress up. It used to be a rainforest so big the old ones called it the lungs of the planet. There she is. Heard you had an interesting time at Thebes. Maniacs, lava, what's not to like? I'll remember that next time I go traveling. At least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready then. You look tired. Ha! You're never one to hold back, are you? I've just been making sure that I got everything down for this mission of yours. I wouldn't want to be the usual screw up out there. You'll do fine, Errand. Have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when she's not reading the archives like a giddy kid drinking her first ale. Uh, she took to that new focus quick, that's for sure. I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. But I can see why you two hit it off. I should get going. As soon as you want us heading out to those cauldrons. I'll give you the heads up. From the look on your face, I'd say the mission was a success. I got Omega Clarence. Is everyone ready to head out to Cauldron Gemini? As soon as you give the word. Did Alva make it here all right? Our new Quen friend. The moment she laid eyes on the archives, she jumped on them like a long leg. Sounds about right. Now that I have Omega Clarence, we can grab Hephaestus and finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. Once Gaia is back up and running, I expect you to put all your training to good use. The seeds have been planted. All they need is a chance to bloom. What? I thought that was pretty good. Zoe liked it. I'm glad you and Zoe found each other. Don't forget. You're to blame for that. I should go get this to Gaia. Of course. Let us know when we're needed. Welcome back. Good to be back. Have you met our new Quen guest yet? I could barely keep up as she gave herself a tour of the base. Varl gave her a new focus. Though, when he told her she was free to access all the data we had here, she turned so pale, I, I thought she'd faint on the spot. We showed her to the archive room so she could see for herself. She hasn't left the place since. Sounds like Alva. Read anything interesting lately? I found out the Old Ones use leaf infusions, like the Utaru do. Tea, they call it. Apparently it helped soothe them. That, and some sort of scented wax they used to cleanse their aura. Uh, plus something called bubble baths. Me, I think I'll stick to singing to calm the nerves. How are things with everyone? Slightly quieter. Aaron's been busy scouring data on his newest obsession. Apparently the old ones wrestled machines as some kind of performance. Called it Metal versus Meat. A must-see battle between steel and flesh, as Aaron likes to put it. You'd think we have enough of that going around as it is. I need to get going. Right. You've retrieved the Omega Clearance. 
That means we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. I'll make sure my gear is ready. Aloy! Right to work, I see. There's just so much. I mean, we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing! A and you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, of course, not like the um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors out there, returned from beyond the stars. Of course, they're trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric Visser is with them, which is disturbing. And then there's Hephaestus, and... Okay, okay, how about we take it one step at a time? You're right. I also owe you an explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. You mentioned Eric Visser? How do you know about him? The Zenith who tried to kill you? He is known to the Quen as the Protector. Combing through data related to his work led us to breakthroughs related to weapons and military tactics. Knowledge our rulers use to conquer and expand. To become the empire we are today. That's why he's one of our most revered ancestors. But based on your encounter with him, it appears he's even more ruthless than we ever imagined. Yet another distorted interpretation in the legacy. Well... At least you're piecing together the truth. If only the Overseers back home would do the same. Veda mentioned other Zenas. Tilda, Verbena, and Gerard. I'm afraid I don't know anything about them. Whatever legacy they left behind, the Diviners haven't recovered. The Ancestors. Is that what your people call the Old Ones? Yes and no. The Ancestors are the greatest of the Old Ones. Those whose legacy taught us agriculture, medicine, warfare, leadership, and patronage of the science and arts. The CEO called Elizabeth Sobek an assistant. What's that about? Right. Well, any Old One who has made minor contributions or worked extensively under one of the Ancestors is called an assistant. That's how we thought of Sobek. Until we met you. Our limited access to data past the late 2040s has obviously uh, misinformed our view of the past. You mentioned the reason you came here was to help your family. Your sister... Her name is Alika. Our parents are commoners. Peasants, really. When I passed the divination exams, they were so proud. It brought honor to our family and increased rations. Only, Alika begged me not to leave for the research academy. Why? What happens there? Alika knew that once you enter, you're not allowed to leave or see anyone. Not even your family. Uh, unless you can get special permission and an escort by an overseer. That sounds harsh. Like the focuses we keep, diviners are few in number, and the Empire is... well... Fearful that outsiders will try to steal our knowledge. Last time I was allowed to see my family was just before our voyage here. Because of my position, I was able to get them refuge from the floods within the capital. But if our crops don't recover soon, they'll starve to death along with everyone else. I promise I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't come to that. You said you owed me an explanation for what happened in Thebes. I'm listening. Right. I'll start at the beginning, with the CEO. He was an Imperial, the Emperor's nephew, in fact. As such, he sponsored many Diviners to search the Legacy for anything that might help the tribe, and himself. He took a special interest in anything related to Ted Farrow, whom we consider the greatest of the Ancestors. Ted Farrow, revered Ancestor. <laughs> It's tough to take. I know better now, of course. Anyway, the Diviners discovered that Pharaoh spent a great deal of time in San Francisco. In fact, many of the most important ancestors did. 
So the Emperor's nephew convinced him that an expedition across the ocean might solve our most pressing problems. If only we could find the right data in this fabled city. Perhaps we could roll back the floods and storms that threatened our people. The Emperor declared that all the tribe's resources be poured into this endeavor. Dozens of ships were built, scouting missions were dispatched, and the Emperor's nephew was named Sio, one who wields the legacy for the good of the Empire. The living embodiment of Ted Pharaoh, the Renewer. It may seem strange now, but for a time, he carried all of our hopes. We really believed he would save us. We had no idea just how perilous the journey would be. You said the expedition across the sea was more dangerous than you thought it would be. What happened? We lost most of our ships to hurricanes, and scores of soldiers perished to hunger and disease. And that was before we even hit the coast. Once we landed, machines ripped our patrols apart, and we struggled to replenish our rations. There were bright spots, to be sure. We found Thebes and the greenhouse. But nothing improved the CEO's mood as his dreams of saving the tribe were slowly dashed. He became more and more obsessed with Thebes and what lay behind its door. And more and more convinced that the title of CEO was no mere honorific. You heard him, spouting nonsense about Pharaoh's essence and some kind of becoming. We knew these weren't the words of a sane man, but he was quick to put any who spoke out in front of a firing squad. What a great guy. The Quen are wrong about many things when it comes to the legacy. I can see that now. But what the CEO became was a complete perversion of what principal diviners stand for. The pursuit of truth. Uh, I'm sorry you had to endure his madness. I'm just glad it's over. For everyone. So, Bohai, your overseer, will he run things better than Sio? He won't execute people on a whim, if that's what you mean. But he's hardly a paragon of integrity. I can't tell you how many times he took credit for data in the legacy that I uncovered. The best thing I can say about him is that he can be trusted to always do what's best for him. Yep, sounds about right. Back at the greenhouse, you spoke of knowledge forbidden to your people. Diviners are meant to seek out the truth in the legacy, and many Imperials sponsor them in the hopes they'll find something the Empire can put to use, thus gaining favor with the Emperor. But the Board of Overseers claims certain truths are detrimental to the stability of the Empire, like discovering one of our revered ancestors ended the world. That is why diviners are only allowed to access segments of the legacy. Only overseers can view it all. It ensures that any heretical data can be contained and retrieved before it can spread. What happens to diviners who break the rules? I never had the courage to ask. I see you've been using your new focus. It's been fascinating. So much better than the version the Quen have? What would have taken me years to sort through, like the database you helped me recover? With this, I've been able to establish search parameters to speed up the process. This could revolutionize how diviners analyze the legacy. That is, whatever part of it the overseers would actually let us study.